va la mona. Hola, hi. Una banda británica de industrial new wave o post punk indie rock, cualquiera de esas, ellos caben en todas las categorías. Y está formada por cinco amigos, que son Iwan, con quien estamos ahorita en live, Beth, Tom, Billy y Andy. Ellos son de Sheffield y de Lincolnshire, y ellos vinieron aquí para hacer música, hacer música juntos. Ellos tienen a, al momento dos canciones lanzadas en Spotify y en las plataformas digitales, y aunque solamente son dos, ellos ya han tocado en muchos festivales, en muchas escenas, en la escena indie más cool de Manchester, como en Gorilla de Castle. Y también han tocado en el Time Nights de Sheffield y en el Liverpool Sound City, que son uno de los festivales más grandes que hay aquí. Eh, así que es bastante impresionante lo que han hecho, a pesar del de tiempo que ya han tocado. Eh, ahora, en tiempos de coronavirus, ellos están trabajando en un álbum copilatorio junto a otras 32 bandas de indie, más que todo. Y lo que ellos están haciendo es que tienen un álbum, de eso vamos a hablar con él ahorita, ustedes le pueden preguntar cosas si quieren, y el dinero que están recogiendo es para la gente que trabaja en el NHS, que es el Servicio de Sanidad Pública de aquí de Inglaterra. Y bueno, lo más importante que vamos a conversar con él hoy es sobre sobre su último single, su último sencillo, que se llama Draw the Line, que era lo que estábamos escuchando ahora cuando empezamos. Y bueno, qué mejor forma de hacerlo que preguntándole directamente al vocalista, directo de la fuente. Entonces no se vayan, quédense hasta el final. Esto va a ser como 15 minutos, 20 a lo mucho. Y podrán preguntarle cosas, si hay aquí bloggers o gente que organice eventos o de la radio o de lo que sea en Sudamérica, o en España, o en Miami, o en LA, o donde sea, que estén interesados en hacer algo con él o con esta banda, pues allí en el Q&A pueden preguntar lo que quieran, en inglés o en español. I'm very excited to have you here. Thank you very much for being part of this. Thank you for having me, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, basically, I just wanna have, I just wanna know about you, about your band, about Balamona. So let's start with the name. Uh, where does the name sure. come from? Yeah. Um, uh, the net. So the name is uh, Balamona is the name of a place on the Isle of Man, which is where I was born. All right. Uh, it's uh, it's the name of an old uh, mental hospital that my dad used to work at, and people, friends, and family over there know it very well. Um, Yeah, and it's just, it's, uh, I've got family over there, Andy, the bass player, has got family over there. So it just felt right to sort of name the band after a place that we've got ties to. Nice. You know. I think it's a cool name. It's interesting. And I, I was reading about that, about the history of Isle of Man and Balamona. And uh, yeah. I, I saw something about an asylum. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> But I don't know. Is that, yeah. is that an asylum, or it used to be? Yeah, well, it, you, yeah, back in the day, it sort of um, it's there. Do you know uh, Bedlam in in the UK? It's like the Isle of Man's version of that. It's like a very infamous mental health hospital, um, but like basically a, a failed institution that was um, all and now has been turned into this. Uh, country estate, um, but yeah, it wasn't a nice place by all accounts. But yeah, it's not there anymore. <laughs> Little yeah. bit, bit creepy, <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. <laughs> so tell me about like the beginning of your band. How did you, uh, how did you know each other? How did did you start? Like, well, me. Me, Tom, and Billy were in a band together called Heart Shakes Heart Shake. back in back in Sheffield. Yeah. And Balamona was essentially only supposed to be like one gig. We had these new we wrote a new set and we're gonna do one show and then we just enjoyed it so we decided to carry it on when we all moved to Manchester. And then um I bumped into Andy at BIM 
I already knew him from Sheffield. He was in a band called Red Faces. All right. And then we uh, decided to get him on board. And then just at the start of this year, uh, we decided to get Beth in on guitar, who also uh, just graduated from BIM. Nice. Interesting. Yeah. So you mentioned that you graduated in November, right? Yeah. 2019. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right when I started. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. What what course do you do? I'm doing music business. Uh, and how you find it? I I like it. I love it. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So yeah, let's talk about about the single. So you released "Draw the Line" last Friday, right? Not yesterday. Last Friday. week. Yeah, the tenth. Yeah, the tenth. So uh, tell me about the song. What's the song about? Uh, to me, the song's about um, nationalism, division, and uh, empathy, or like a lack of empathy, I guess. It's supposed to be a sort of kind of gimmicky sort of play on the like th different versions of the meaning of draw the line. So the first verse would be like um, being sang by some. Uh, someone that's lacking empathy and sort of say the sort of um, looking after your own kind of mentality. And then the second verse is a lot more literal, like just talking about borders and stuff. And I guess the end of the song would be like my version of Draw the Line, which is like, you know, um, sort of attacking the, the first two versions, if, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, of course. I think it's, I like it. I think this world needs more empathy. <laughs> and, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's, absolutely. It's necessary. So congratulations about the single. I think it's great. Yeah. Oh, thank you very I much. I listen Cheers. to it and I really like it. And that's why you're here. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about the producer, Alex Squeeds. Yeah, Alex Greaves. Um, he's a guy who's got this studio called The Nave yeah. up in Leeds, which is like this old converted church that they that they let people record in for ridiculously cheap amounts. And um, Alex Gre Alex has worked with like. Um, Working Men's Club and the Orioles and Heavy Lungs and bands like that. So we just thought that we'd get in touch and see if he wanted to do something. Yeah. And quite frankly, if it wasn't for him, I don't think the song would be half as good as it is. Like he really um, pushed us to like be a bit more ambitious with it. And uh, yeah, that's great. he's great. That's great. Yeah, he's a legend. I mean, I don't know him personally, but I, I was listening to the music and impressive, like the band that yeah, he's, he's been working with. Yeah, yeah, everything everything I've heard of that he's produced is, yeah, really, really good, so. Wonderful. Thanks, Alex. So who yeah. was working with him? Did you enjoy the process? Yeah, it was great. It was, it was, um, it was only two days and that's sort of like, a very short period of time to sort of get acquainted with someone and uh, put across your ideas and get it all done in time. But um, but he he was he was easy to work with. He um, had had a, had his own way of doing things. He knew he knew exactly how we wanted to work, and uh, we trusted him, and he trusted us with our suggestions and stuff. It was great. It was really easy really inspiring yeah it's good fun great i like to know about the plans you have before corona and how did you have to adapt to what you're doing now like the difference between before covid and after what what were you planning to do and what are you doing now well we were actually supposed to go and record with alex again uh not last week but the week before Yeah. But obviously that got cancelled. Um, <laughs> so if it wasn't for 
Corona, we'd probably have a new single out within like a month or two. But um, I'm going to have to hang fire on that one now, I think. Um, as for gigs and stuff, we've got ones um, booked in, but I'm just not sure that they're going to go ahead. Uh, there's one in May that isn't, isn't going to happen. Um, there's one in November at the Lead Mill. Yeah. Which, Tell me about which, you know, it. Think, I mean... Yeah, that was, that was supposed to be the release party for Draw the Line. All right. And it was supposed to be on the 9th of April, so the day before the tune came out, with a band called The Lottery Winners, who were uh, from Salford, which is where I am now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, at the Leadmill, which is like our favourite venue, in Sheffield at least. Um, and that's on this, that's been pushed back to the 17th of November now, I believe. So it's post postponed, yeah. Yeah, that one's postponed. A few have, a few have been cancelled, but that one is, is should still be going ahead, just um, a lot later than planned. Yeah, I'm sad to hear that. Yeah, me too. It is what it is. It's like we are all in the same boat. <laughs> yeah, it's got it's got to be done. It's got to be done. I'd rather it. I'd rather these gigs get cancelled than um, play any hand in spreading coronavirus. So, yeah. but now I know, like you are, you are collaborating in with other bands and uh, the independent. What's the name? Independent news. Like you are working on oh, a yeah. com uh, compilation album. Like. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that that's um, <laughs> that was uh, released by a music blog called uh, Independent Music News. Yeah. They they've put together like a I don't know how many songs are on there. At least at least twenty songs. Um, of us and a lot and a lot of other artists. I think of, we've all just given our sing. Thirty-three songs. Thirty-three. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. Yeah. You've done your research. Yeah, I did. Um, <laughs> it's making me look bad. Uh, yeah. So yeah, th yeah, thirty-three artists and, and singles, and that's raising money for meals for the NHS. Yeah. You know, obviously, like. Um, really important at the minute. Yeah, the, the NHS, it's like the public health service for those that don't know about it. So it's like you are raising money for them, like to buy meals to the workers. Of yeah, it's actually kind of, um, this might sound bad, but it's actually kind of like crazy that the charity even exists because really they should they shouldn't need it. but. Um, because of the current situation in the country, they do need it, and I think they've raised like a hundred and something pounds already from it, and that came out last Friday. So, yeah, yeah it's buying meals for nurses and doctors and stuff. I think that's great. Like that initiative is really cool. So, if mm. people want to buy that compilation album, where can they find it? Uh, on uh, the independent music news. Bandcamp. Bandcamp page. Yeah, I have the link. Yes. I'm gonna share it later, just in case someone wants Excellent. to wants to listen to it. Yes, that's great. Yeah. All right. So about your single, draw the line. If people want to listen to it, where can they stream it? Where, where is it about? Everywhere, I believe. Uh, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, YouTube. Um, SoundCloud. There's a there's a video coming out uh, next week, I believe. Yeah, um, that we filmed in Sheffield at the start of the year. All right, that's great. I didn't know that. To go, to go with it. Yeah, yeah. So the, yeah, there's a video coming out um, that us and some of our friends put together. So cool. You can send send me the link later so I can share. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And what about your socials? If people want to follow you on Instagram or which social media platforms are you using right now? 
Um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Yeah, yeah, and they're all Balamona UK. That's the. So if you want to follow, it's at Balamona UK. Great stuff. Yeah. Do you know any words in Spanish? <laughs> no, not really. Um, <laughs> I've worked well. I worked with a girl from Spain yeah. in here in Manchester, and she taught me some words, but I don't think they're appropriate for. <laughs> right. Tell me one, and I, I can tell you. If it's... No, I don't. I, don't like I think they might be like really, really bad. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold back from that. I shouldn't say right. Okay, people. Um, esa fue la entrevista con Ewan. Uh, ahora tenemos Q&A. Pueden preguntar en inglés o en español, como prefieran. What are your main references? ¿Qué quieres decir? Yeah. What do you mean, like? Influences or like mu musical references, I assume. I can just answer that. Um, um, probably for, for draw the line, I'd probably say Nine Inch Nails and working men's club and idols, I guess. Um, we're into sort of the heavier side of. Indie rock, I guess. So yeah, they're the main ones. The pitch mode, maybe. I know. It has yeah, pitch mode. Something. The pitch mode has been thrown around a lot. Because the Alex in the studio said the pitch mode. Then a friend of mine said the pitch mode. And then some press and stuff have been saying the pitch mode. So I don't really listen to the pitch mode that oh, much, if I'm being honest. Okay. But uh, but I do I do like them. So yeah, I'll take that one to pitch mode. Yeah. It's a friend of mine that told me like it sounds a bit. Like they pitch my, I was like, yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> well, there's another one, yeah. I can't, I can't ignore it. People keep saying it, so it must be true, you know. Yeah, there is another question in English. How do you see the events industry bouncing back after the virus? I really don't know. I, I hope I've. I've got this sort of view that when everything calms down and we're allowed back outside, that it will boom. Like it will really, um, it will be really great, and everyone will be spending money on gigs and buying merch, and people will just be so eager for like a live event that they'll be there at all of them, and everything that happens will be sold out, and it'll be amazing. But there's talk of it not happening till autumn next year, so it's a tough, it's a tough one because if it's that long, then who knows the impact it'll have. But I like to think it'll be a, it'll positive response yeah i think it's gonna be crazy what's your favorite album ever <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> uh, favorite album ever just one that's uh, <laughs> i really like uh, i don't know maybe rated r by queens of the stone age mm -hmm. what's up Or, or, oh, I don't know. Favorite album ever? That's impossible. Yeah, I'm going to say Rated R by Queens of the Stone Age. And did you say favorite song ever? Uh, someone, uh, yeah, someone asked in Spanish, ¿Cuál es tu banda favorita? What's your favorite band? Favorite band is Idols. Idols, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I didn't know idols until I moved to Manchester, to be honest. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, do, you, But I, do you like them? Though? Yeah, yeah. I think they're, they're, they're great. But to be honest, I just listen like to three songs or something. I need to, right, to okay. hear more, so I have a strong yeah. opinion. They're phenomenal. Yeah, check them out. Uh, there is another question here about the video. When's the video out? Sorry if you say. I couldn't tell you. I don't really know. Um, next week, I imagine, at some point. Maybe next Friday. I don't know. We'll let you know. <laughs> as soon yeah. as we know. Uh, Giglino Makeup is asking, uh, do you have a favorite Latin American band? Oh. <laughs> what's the... Um, what's the name of that really famous metal band? From uh, Brazil, I guess. 
Yeah. Uh, there are many bands from Brazil that are huge. Is it metal or? Yeah, proper metal, like really ridiculously heavy. Um, I want to say Sepultura, but that might be that might be wrong. Yeah. But I'm I'm gonna go with that. I don't know. Yeah, no, I think that's that's right. I like Sepultura as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> También pueden preguntar en español. You can ask questions in Spanish or in English, wherever. Or Swedish, if you want to ask in Swedish. <laughs> I can translate. Uh, I can tell you my favorite Swedish band. Ah, which one? Viagra Boys. Viagra Boys. Yeah. Are, are they like very famous here? Because the other day, some pals told me about that band. You know, I, I yeah. live in Stockholm. And I didn't know the band, but not here the, everyone is talking about them. I'm like, how? <laughs> yeah, they're quite new, I think. Well, relatively new. They brought an album, their debut album out maybe last year or the year before. But they, they're quite big in the UK. They're not huge, huge, but they're playing the Ritz in Manchester uh, in November. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're my favorite Swedish band. Just to make up for the poor answer for the first one. Maybe they, they have good marketing in the UK. <laughs> yeah. How do you look up to in the music industry? Luis Sama is asking us. Um, uh, I'm going to say uh, Damon Albarn, just because uh, he's involved in so many um, projects that are all so different, but manages to make them all successful like he's got blur and then he's got gorillas which is like whatever he wants it to be and then he's got um his orchestral stuff i just think he, he has mastered being able to do whatever he wants without people hating it right. you know damon alba yeah i'm just reading the questions <laughs> sepultura rata blanca those are latin bands <laughs> It's funny that all the questions are in English. I was hoping that people <laughs> will ask in Spanish, but that's all right. Where will, the, where will be your dream festival and your dream venue to play? That's a great question. Um, dream, uh, dream festival has got to be Glastonbury. Yeah. There's, I've only been once, but um, it's as good as everybody says it is. So I'd love to get to be part of that and favorite ven uh, dream venue um the ritz the ritz in my yeah in manchester yeah that's a good one yeah mm. uh -uh, there is one more one more question so we are gonna answer just one more and then that's it because this is gonna be so long <laughs> afterwards Thank you. so we have a best band you you've ever you've ever seen live from posh hands um <laughs> it's got to be idols at the ritz yeah that's, that's yeah that's what i'm gonna go with idols at the ritz thank you josh for your question there is one more we can answer this one this is the last question thank you people for asking. Okay, so thoughts on drawing celta <laughs> what <laughs> i get that one i know this guy i get that one uh the answer is not good i feel bad about it I don't know what what are you talking about, but that that's right. <laughs> it's, a, it's a football question from a friend of mine. That one. Thank you, everyone, for asking questions. And then, if you have more, you can just contact the band to their Instagram, Balamona UK. So yeah, that's that's all for today. Thank you, Iwan, for being part of this. I'm very I feel very humbled and grateful that you wanted to be part. This is actually the first section of JC Presents. So yeah, I hope more people- Great, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no, it's, it's an honor. I hope more people will be interested and be in part as well. Y bueno, yeah. gente, eso fue todo. Pueden seguir a sus redes sociales, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook y YouTube. Es arroba balamona UK. O también pueden escuchar su música en Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Amazon Music y SoundCloud como Balamona. Muchas gracias por ver.
y espero que se unan al próximo. Thank you very much, everyone. I hope you join the next section. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for being here.